Hello students in the previous class of class 12 biology we have started with the first chapter reproduction in organisms and in the first video we have discussed about introduction as well as asexual reproduction in uh, in animals now we will discuss in detail about asexual reproduction in plants so you already know that the asexual reproduction in plants is also possible it is not like that ki in plants there is only there are only seeds through which the plants can grow okay so the process of asexual reproduction in plants is called vegetative propagation what does this term vegetative propagation means vegetative means the part other than reproductive part of plant okay like you know that which is the reproductive part of a uh, plant flower so flower is the reproductive part of a plant but if the plant will grow new plant will grow other than flower or other part the, the part of plant other than flower then it is called vegetative propagation that part is called vegetative part so it can include either through stem through root or through leaf okay so we will take up one by one uh, means which part what are the examples and how the plants can grow by vegetative propagation through stem through root and through leaf so first we will start with stem so in stem first example is called runners okay so runners are actually the plants in which you can see here this is a plant and these are the uh, the part which is above the ground stem leaf etc and this plant is this part is below the ground in this type of plants the stem it moves horizontally okay to yahan pe kya hota hai jo stem hai it will move horizontally above the ground but it will be at the level of the ground okay it is not very much above the ground bilkul ground ke level pe hi hoga okay so when this stem this stem will have nodes and internodes when it will pass through the ground it has nodes and internodes when this node comes in contact with the ground it will grow into new plant okay like you can see here new roots new shoots will be developed here similarly this stem will continue to grow it has nodes it has internodes and when the internode or oh sorry the node will come in contact with the ground under favorable condition it will grow into new plant okay that is why it is called runners runners kyun kaha hai inko because they are running over the ground that is why they are called runners okay an example in this is cynodon cynodon is the example it is also called as dub grass dub grass jo hai wo iska common name hai if you have seen um, Uh, might be you have seen dub grass if you have not seen then you can just uh, go to the internet to see the uh, pictures of this dub grass okay the next one is offset offset is an aquatic example of the vegetative propagation through stem in case of aquatic plants okay so aquatic plants they have the almost same characters like in this case also they will grow through stem but the difference is that these plants are aquatic like here you can see they have a cluster of uh, leaves as uh, and uh, sorry shoe uh, stem and this is the cluster of roots when this stem which is also a swollen part because you know that if a plant is aquatic it is has to be swollen because it has air and chyma in it which will help it to float over water so it is a floating kind of plant so when this uh, swollen stem it will grows it will continue over the surface of water and this when this come in contact with the water at this point at the point of node the roots will grow and the new stem will comes out similarly it is growing above the surface of water and wherever the node will come in contact with water and it will get favorable condition it will grow into new plant the only difference between runner and offset is that it is an terrestrial plant and it is an aquatic plant okay and example of offset is icornia okay icornia is also called as it's water hyacinth okay so water hyacinth why it is called water hyacinth uh, sorry it is all this common name is terror of bengal why it is called terror of bengal because it, it is a very beautiful plant it is an exotic species so we have brought it from some other place from other country because it is a beautiful plant and we thought that it will make our environment beautiful but it it grows very fast by vegetative propagation through stem that it is out of control its growth is out of control it is covering the whole surface of water okay now it has become a headache for bengal because it has been transported to bengal 
इसीलिए इसको बोलते हैं टेरर ऑफ बेंगाल बिकॉज नाउ इट हैज बिकम हेड एक फॉर दैम बिकॉज इट इज ग्रोइंग एट अ वेरी फास्ट रेट बिकॉज यू नो दैट सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन वेन वी हैव डिस्कस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सेक्सुअल एंड ए सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इज अ फास्ट प्रोसेस एज कम्पेयर टू ए सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ओके सो दिस इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑप्शन लाइक दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन कम इन टू योर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम ऑल्सो की विच प्लांट इज कॉल्ड टेरर ऑफ बेंगाल ओके नेक्स्ट वन you can see here next example is tubers so tubers they, these were the example of stem and now we will discuss about the underground stems which grows under the ground next is tuber tuber will include potatoes you know that potato is an underground stem okay and you have you all have seen potatoes and there are some scar like structure which are present over over potato and this scar like structure will act are actually called the eye of the potato and from here if you will grow the potato if you will sow the potato in the soil this the scarlet structure from this part the green color structure will come out that is actually a new plant and even if you will you will you will place a potato in a moist uh, area in a moist environment with a proper temperature then you will see that the potato eye will grow into a new plant green color structures will comes out and that will be the new plant next is the example of rhizome rhizome it includes example is ginger and turmeric so ginger you have seen obviously or everybody have seen ginger in ginger you have seen the structure of ginger there are some these kind of structures present in between these are actually nodes and internodes okay so this line structure which are present at the surface of the ginger will act as the node and the new plant will comes out from this structure okay next is bulb like we have example of onion and garlic so onion and garlic everyone has seen it and there are some scale like structures scaly structures uh, like the layers are present and that layers will act as a vegetative part which will help in reproduction next is comb comb will include example colocasia colocasia is arbi arbi dekha hai na sabne arbi is a vegetable colocasia is a vegetable so you have seen that also and there are some node like structure which are present over colocasia and this will help to grow into new plant by vegetative propagation through stem next is suckers suckers are almost a kind of runners the difference is that in case of suckers because we are here talking about underground stem so in suckers the stem will be underground so you can see here the horizontal stem is growing under the ground so new plant is this the new plant will grow when this underground stem stem will come will get favorable condition it will stick to the ground and then the new uh, roots and shoots will come out example is chrysanthemum next is stolons stolon example is strawberry it is also like a runner but the difference is that in case of runner as i told you the stem will move horizontally over the ground but it will be in the contact with the ground in case of stolons the uh, the stem horizontal stem will grow just above the ground at some height to wo thodi height pe grow karega this is the only difference between runners and stolons example is strawberry plant okay so the difference in runner suckers and stolon is clear i think because in runners the stem is horizontally over the ground in suckers the stem is underground and in stolons the stem is above the ground at some height so this is all about uh, vegetative propagation through stem now we will discuss about vegetative propagation through roots so next we will take up vegetative propagation through roots and leaf so in case of roots only two examples are there one is delbergia and second is sweet potato it is also called shisham wood so these two they show vegetative propagation through roots like in case of sweet potato a radical bud is grown here okay so this is a like this is an uh, this balanced structure uh, like a, this is a sweet potato and the radical bud will grow here and through this radical bud new plant will be grown okay because it is an underground it's a, it is a st uh, modified root okay next is vegetative propagation through leaves so the best example you this example you have already studied bryophyllum one more is there which is called begonia in this we have there is a swollen kind of leaf okay and in this case the leaf has this marginal ends 
and these structures present at the marginal end they have small small plants grown at its uh, marginal ends which are called adventitious bud and the leaf having this adventitious bud when getting favorable condition or when by naturally it falls down and when it comes in contact with the soil the small roots they will start taking up nutrient from the soil and will grow into the new plant okay so this is vegetative propagation through leaf now this is all about the topic of asexual reproduction it is completed here and one question i am giving you here you have to solve this question or you, this can be the homework uh, for you so question is you can note down or you can uh, see the video again and write the question find out how sexual reproduction helps these organisms to survive during unfavorable condition because we have discussed about asexual reproduction in animals and plants but they takes place it takes place only under favorable condition when the conditions are favorable then only the plant will be able to reproduce asexually okay but if the conditions are not favorable then how sexual reproduction will help them to reproduce this answer you have to find and you also have to solve ncert questions because you all have book ncert books have, you all have so question number 1 to 6 will be solved out because we have discussed these topics with through which you can solve question number 1 to 6 which is given in the back exercise and you can write down on your fair notebook the answers you can search okay and this will be your homework tomorrow we will discuss in the next video the answers of these questions thank you